by the way guys don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment down below and don't forget to leave a like hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a chinese minutes about basic greetings hello in chinese is ni hao hello usually when you say hello to so let's say i'm in China and I'm greeting someone and I and then they say ni hao and I don't know and I say, I respond ni hao back it's technically how it works so it's like saying hello to someone but in a different country you have to say hello that's the most basic thing that people say obviously the next one goodbye in Chinese is zai jian like so like saying you're at school at in China, you're in a China school, and then you have and you're saying goodbye to your friend. You say Zai Jian and then you walk away with your parents. This is also one of the most basic things, just like hello. When you greet them and then that time ends, you say bye bye to them. But maybe bye bye or goodbye might be the same word, so I don't really know. Anyways, <laughs> next one. The next one is called See You Tomorrow. It's called Ming Tian Ming Tian Jian. It's See You Tomorrow. So let's say you're leaving, just like bye bye. Let's say you're leaving and you're gonna meet them tomorrow. And you can say this phrase Ming Tian Jian. You can say See You Tomorrow. One of the most basic things. So let's say you're at school and you're saying goodbye to your friend, but instead of saying Zai Jian, you say see you tomorrow because you have an exam test tomorrow and you're gonna meet them tomorrow. And you have to say the phrase Ming Tian Jian, which is see you tomorrow. And next is see you soon. It's called Hui Ta Jian and see you soon. So let's say your friend meets you in the hallway and then your ring bell rings and you have to go to different classes. So let's say like, you have to say goodbye to your friend but you do not want to say goodbye because you're not leaving yet. That's why you can say see you soon because you'll meet up later. So it's not really like you're leaving them or you're like, or you're like, you have to go home immediately. You have to say see you soon. Because if if you say goodbye, um, they might consider it as leaving. So it's not really that consequensible. And then when you say see you soon, it'll actually be understand that you're gonna meet them soon. But technically some school, like they put all like the like all the students in the same class, you don't really need to say that. But maybe when you reach high school, they might change your class because it depends on the teachers. But for my school, they don't really like change the student. They will always be in the same class, except for Oz. If you guys don't know who Oz is, Oz is an Australian person, but this is not really like adding up to this recording. So everyone, no one saw, no one saw me speaking, okay? No one saw that. That is all of the phrases, I think. Well, let me see. Okay, yeah, that's all the phrases. Okay, anyways, just leave a comment down below if I made any mistakes or anything that I missed. Okay, and also be sure to stay good. Don't mind if anyone that is bullying you, just like me, I made, I made it through many consequences, so do not do not face the same face of what I did, okay? <laughs> do not face the same face, okay? You might be in danger with me. Okay, so I don't want you to suffer. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be going now. Three, two, one. Woo!